on that. There's a chance I could go home right after I'm in a double E. If I don't send home that, there's no chance I'll go home in a double E. No okay. chance. Well, spit me how there's no chance. Because even if Brennan wins and he nominates Reagan and Matt and Reagan or Matt win POV, I'm put up as a replacement. I will beat any of them in that vote. I would beat Matt I mean, and I would beat Reagan. Who are you? Uh, you're planning on putting Hayden up? Hayden's the only person I could put up. What did, what did Reagan promise you for? He didn't promise me anything, but it just... <sighs> Matt's not coming after me. Why would I get rid of a player in this game? And this doesn't just come from Reagan. This comes from other people asking me the same question. Why would I get rid of a player in this game? It only has to be Matt and Re Reagan asking you those questions. Think about if I talk to anybody else. Enzo? No. Oh. Think about if I talked to somebody else and they were asking me just questions just to get a feel for what I'm thinking. Well, who has more loyalty to me, Enzo or Matt? Who would be coming after you if Hayden goes? Brendan, Enzo. If Enzo goes. Brendan's already said if Matt doesn't go this week, then he's gonna definitely gun for you because you didn't do. You know, he wants a mad gone. Okay. I don't know. It, it, you're HOH. You do what you want to do. I'm just saying. Brendan is still going to send me home if Reagan wins the POV. If Reagan wins POV, I'm going home this week. Period. Like, that's the end of the story. Why would <laughs> I put myself in a position to go home? If Brendan stays and wins HOH and he puts up either me and Matt or me and Reagan or me and whoever, and then one of us wins the POV, I still won't go home. I'll still be here. And then he can't play for the next HOH. Yeah, we lose Enzo, but from what you and Hayden are telling me anyways, you want to lose Enzo eventually. Well, so why well, would I take the bullet for y'all and get rid of somebody who's not coming after me instead of somebody who would come after me eventually. And Enzo would come after me. Enzo's going to go after Brendan or Reagan or whatever first. But Enzo has no loyalty to me at all in this game. Matt has loyalty to me in this game. I don't know. Ultimately, what's your goal? To make it to the end. You know, I want to be there with the final three. So then the final three compete, and that's when you decide who you want to be with you there. Well, if you and me go, if I don't get rid of Matt this week, you and me will go to the final four. And if you do get rid of him, it's still, it's still like that. The only thing that's in the way in your head is the POV. And I know that's big, but the POV is in the way of everyone. It's not just the POV, though, because, okay, first of all, do you know for sure that Enzo and Hayden aren't in an alliance? No. Okay, well, I think they are. Do you know for sure that they aren't possibly working with Brendan? Do you not think that they would want to take Brendan to the finals with them because they know they can beat him in the end? How do I know that if Enzo gets HOH, he's not going to go after Brendan, or that he's going to go after Brendan? I don't really believe that he will. I think he will. Lane. There's... I can trust you, and you can trust me, but I don't really trust anybody else. And I love Hayden, and I think he's a good guy, but why am I do why do I feel like I'm making a decision to protect other people versus myself? Well, those other people you have to, you know, have other people to make it to where you want to go. Yeah, and if I keep Matt in this game, I have him. And he's a big competitor, and I'm not saying that he's not dangerous because I think he is dangerous. 
I think he's dangerous. I think he's manipulative. I think that he's sneaky. And I think that he wins competitions. Well, but why do I care if he wins competitions as long as he's winning competitions that get me further in this game? Well, my point of view, the whole time when you're up here, when you're with Reagan, Matt's telling me what to tell you to get Reagan up on the block. Matt wants, you know, Matt's going to be sad if Reagan goes. Matt's not here for Reagan. Reagan's gone. Who do you think Matt's with? Us three. It's not going to hurt Matt if Reagan's gone. He said it flat out, you know, because he's scared he's going up. You know, he's here He's here for Stacy, not for Reagan. You're not here for Reagan. You're not here for me. You're here to get to the end, mm -hmm. you know. But, you know, unfortunately, you have to trust people in this house or not to get you that way. You're the only person in this house who I trust, though. And honestly, you're the only person in this house who I care if makes it to the end. If I got to just pick who do I want to be in the final two with, I'm going to pick you. Well, yeah, ditto. But for that to happen, I talk to everyone in the house. You know, I know what everyone's thinking. You know, I have that, I don't know why they tell me. But Matt wants Reagan out just because he knows that Reagan and him are the two. M Reagan's out of the picture. Matt's straight gunning for Brendan. And that's not two alliances that are going to backstab us, you know, because one's gone. Matt has to rely on us. Matt is sneakier, though. Exactly. If we get but, rid of Matt, we have Reagan. I know, but I'm just saying, if you're, I know you're, what you're looking at, you know, on terms of next week or the double elimination, but the, you, it's hard not to look at that because, you know, Brendan wins, he's going to put up me or Reagan or me or whoever or you and Reagan, and then you have the chance of him winning POV. So you're taking the chance of keeping Matt here that's a better competitor than Reagan and has a better shot of winning the POV. If, say, if Brennan wins, he's going to put up you and Matt. But or I'm me saying if Reagan is still here too, then there's no way I'll go home. It's just not possible. And we're getting rid of somebody who everyone is saying they want to eventually get rid of anyways. Everyone's saying, oh, Enzo, we don't want him to win. We don't want to take him to the end. But he, he's a vote. He's a vote, but we don't know where he really is. I don't know that he's not with Hayden. I can control Enzo's and Hayden's vote. How do you think this whole game's been playing out? I don't know that Enzo will go after Brendan. They, they're, no one's taking Brendan to the end. They're not taking him to the final four or three. Whenever they can get him out, they're going to get him out now. They want Matt gone. Matt exactly, is, they want Matt gone because Matt's coming after them. No, he's coming. But he's Matt, not coming after me. Matt's playing the both sides of everything. I see that, but that doesn't not benefit me and I know that Reagan was t saying to put me up and all this stuff and when he was up here he told me flat out exactly everything that he said he told me about talking about a final four deal with Hayden he and he told the same thing to me I know and he told the me same he told final you. four but different people so what is Reagan doing the only thing he's doing is saving his buddy's ass when it's you up on the block, he doesn't give a shit about you. He gives a shit about you now, just like he's talking to me now. Oh, last week I didn't hear a word from him. Reagan's, Matt and Reagan are one, definitely one. You know, me and you are a group. I would never throw you on the bus. I would never throw anyone else on the bus. If I do, it's because whatever, but I won't go to this. Okay, I won't go to Matt and go, oh, Final Four deal. And then he stays. And I'll go to Reagan, one of his friends. Hey, Final Four, we'll keep Matt out. Reagan's doing whatever. You know, he's playing the game. But I'm not HOH. And you definitely got to do whatever you think is going to get you further in this game. It just doesn't make sense to me to not go with the foolproof method of staying in the house next week. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I know what you mean. I mean, no matter what, I have you and Hayden's vote. No matter who I'm up against, Reagan or Matt. Right. And you have Enzo's, but Enzo's up 
Well, Enzo's out of the picture on this mm. instance. How many people would be in the house? Three, so three people vote. So if I had you... Which one? This double elimination? What, you need three people vote? There's only going to be three people voting. So you need two out of the three? Mm-hmm. And I would have you and Hayden. If you're up against... Reagan or Matt. But that's still the same scenario on who wins a POV. It doesn't matter. If I'm up against Matt, y'all will vote for me to stay. If I'm mm -hmm. up against Reagan, y'all will vote for me to stay. Do you see what I mean? It doesn't matter. Right. So that's like, that's it. If Brittany makes it to the final five, done. But the more likely scenario is Matt or Reagan will win the next HOH. They will put up Brendan and I don't know who. If you're going by BB and what has been happening this whole BB deal, the power shifts. More than likely, the power's not going to be in our hands. That's okay, it. but if Brendan wins HOH, who's the last person that I want to be out of this house? Matt. Because... If Brendan is HOH, I'm guaranteed to stay in the house if Matt's here. Period. Matt and Reagan or just Matt? Matt and Reagan. It's a foolproof way to get me through Thursday. Did, when, when did you think of all this? Did Reagan tell you? No, I talked to Matt and basically told him I was going to basically put him up on the block. And he didn't say a whole lot except for, well, you know, you have to do what you got to do. But I, you're not on my radar at all. I was not coming after you. I'm not coming after you. You know where I'm going if I'm here. If you don't put me on the block this time, my, that loyalty to you will be even stronger. It's just something for you to think about. And then you left. Then Reagan came up here and I told Reagan, look, this is exactly what I'm thinking. I'm thinking mm -hmm. about sending Matt home. Reagan flat out said to me, you can send Matt home. I'm not going to come after you. I'm going to be with you no matter what. If I want HOH, there's no way you're going on the block in any capacity, period. Mm -hmm. But I don't understand why you would send home somebody who is loyal to you versus sending home someone who's not. Who do you feel more loyalty with, Matt or Enzo? Obviously, I feel more loyalty with Matt. Enzo is... Enzo's not going to keep me around. Actually, Brendan could get in Enzo's head, and Enzo could try to send me home. Enzo is very manipulated, very easily manipulated. And he has no loyalty to me at all. I don't want Enzo to go home. I would hate that. I love Enzo, and I think that he tried as hard as he possibly could in that veto. So you and talked about it. That's weird. Just like, you know, think about it from this perspective, think about it from this perspective, tell me what you're thinking, tell me what you're, I'm just trying to make you weigh all of your options, type deal. Because <laughs> just from where I'm standing, think about it like this. I'm taking a bullet for people who I can't necessarily trust. I'm taking someone out of the game for Brendan. Why would I do that? Brendan is definitely coming after me. Brendan would definitely send me home next week if the situation provided itself. It just doesn't make sense. Even last night, Brendan, basi Brendan said if Reagan wins HOH, or I mean, if Re Reagan wins POV, I mean, yeah, you'll be up on the block. But if Matt's still here, 